It's the most wonderful time of year again. It is fall. Hi guys, welcome back. I'm so excited to be here. I actually had to dust off my tripod before propping it up today because that's how long it's been since I've touched it. Very sad about that, but it's my favorite time of year and the time of year that I get the most inspired, the most ideas come to me during the fall time and particularly spooky season, so I'm so excited to be here today and bring you guys this video. So I guess it's a little bit of a welcome back to me too, because I haven't been here in a month, I think it's been. Sorry. Quick little life update before I start this video. If you guys want to skip over this, that's totally fine. This is just me catching up with you. I had planned to post in September, but then it was my anniversary. I went away for the weekend. I got engaged, um, and then we just spent like two weeks just like basically celebrating each other with each other going on dates dinners you know just like hanging out with friends celebrating that way and so it's been a busy month as you can imagine um a lot has changed i'm so happy so in love so excited for this next chapter that um comes my way so yeah that's where i've been for the past month it's been a little chaotic and i haven't really had much time to channel creativity during that time but i'm so happy that it's october it's fall season because i feel like i get the best ideas and i feel like i'm the most creative during this time of year but it has been a while so i wanted to open up this conversation of what you guys want to see making content that you actually want to see i want to dive back into this and finish this year strong creating videos is something that i've always loved doing and it's been a little bit hard lately a little bit hard to come up with ideas and just stay consistent. So that's what I hope to do today with this video. I got so inspired last week when I finally walked past some Halloween decor in some stores. So I picked a few things up, nothing crazy. And I for sure knew that this year I didn't want to do like a fall inspired room decor. Like I definitely wanted to do Halloween inspired. Put up some cobwebs, get some skeletons, place some pumpkins in little areas and things like that. So I'm so excited. I've also been itching to redecorate my room for some reason so this fall Halloween decor could not come at a better time. I'm so ready to get inspired and turn my room into a spooky spooky <laughs> spooky place. I don't know. Let's do it. So the first area of my room that I for sure know what I want to do is I want to go ahead and take out all of these like fake vines that are draped around my little AC unit and swap them out for some cobwebs, some spider webs, because I think that it'll look really cool, really spooky. These vines actually haven't been dusted in a long time, so it kind of adds to the effect, but I'm definitely going to clean this beforehand. I... no, no. So this is what we're going to do first. have definitely not taken this down and properly cleaned that since I put it up probably like a year ago. entirely sure if I'm done with my dresser just yet it looks a little bit bare I feel like I could do something more with that but just for the sake of time I'm gonna move on for now and circle back to that later I want to tackle these little picture frames that I have on my wall I just want to swap them out I want to look at different art um, so I printed out some spooky art to replace what I have going on in there right now I wanted to go for a skeleton theme um, also a ghost I love ghosts love the paranormal uh, another skeleton. I just feel like like this one's beautiful. So I think this one's gonna go in the middle.
I know I've only done two things, but I've got to say I love how everything is coming along. So I'm so excited to tackle this next project. Um, I definitely want to spruce up this little area here. So I want to take down pretty much everything here. I got these really cool jars from Target. They're like little potion jars. And so I was thinking to fill them up with water and some food coloring and then have them be like the main little centerpiece for this area here and i do have a couple other decorations that i might want to put on there but that's going to be like the main piece so i went ahead and put water in my jars i picked out three different colors that i think best suit these um potions here we have toxic brain juice dr death certified you know it's real here we have dungeon distilled spider venom 100 percent guaranteed deadly Love that. And of course, can't forget the 100% organic night owl elixir to help you see in the dark. So I figured spider venom would be black. So I'm going to put a few drops of food coloring. Perfect. And then for the other two, I had to get creative because I don't have food coloring or at least I can't find any so I'm hoping that if I put the marker into the water it's gonna dye it which yes it is slowly but surely oh my god that worked out so perfectly it looks so cool in person it looks like a bright neon green for the toxic brain juice I figured you can't go wrong with some purple. Oh, that turned out perfect. I'm very happy with this. Look at that. finally finished decorating my room i'm so happy with the way that it turned out it's not perfect but honestly seeing all these little like knickknacks and the pumpkins and the bats and the portraits i just i love it, it makes me so happy so without further ado here's the final reveal of my halloween room decor tour if you will <laughs>
so much fun making this video so thank you guys so much for watching if you liked it please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below also please make sure to leave me some video suggestions in the comments or comment anything that you want it's about to be 8 p.m so i think now's the perfect time to get up some snacks get the cozy blankets and turn on a halloween movie i love this time of year as always i love you guys very much and i will see you in the next one bye Perfect. Perfect.